Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Coach Tarot here. I'm gonna do your two-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. All energies can be reversed. If you're looking for a more private, in-depth reading, I offer those on my website at butchtarot.com. Uh, that information will be in the description box down below, as well as my Instagram and Facebook. So feel free to check me out there. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And always feel free to comment down below. So let's get it. What do we got for Virgo for the next two weeks? Let me see. Virgos. So the first thing I see is you have somebody around you and I feel like I feel like this person is very you know hides their emotions very well and I feel like at some point that gets to you because of the fact that you don't know where you where you truly stand with this person and I feel like it, I feel like you've been waiting for this. We got some Pisces energy there with the moon card. I feel like you've been waiting for this person just to to, to take that next step and, and to really show you what what they what you mean to them. Because I feel like you've been waiting for a while, like I said. But I feel like this person um, has a lot of like I I truly feel like they have a lot of feelings. I feel like they think about only you emotionally. They're connected to only you, but it's very hard for them to. Um, allow those feelings to surface. And I feel like because they do this, I feel like it's almost impossible for you to read them. Um, and sometimes I feel like you you look at the, the worst outcome possible of the situation instead of looking at the positives here. Um, you know, this person seems very hot and cold. Like they feel like... They, you feel that energy, you feel that positive energy coming from them but then there's other times when it feels like they're so distant and that's what's got you in that you know looking at the negatives instead of the positives here uh, not really seeing you know they're not really giving you what you expect and they're not really coming and stepping up to the plate when you need them to but I feel like I feel like things are about to change you know, I do see them stepping up. When push comes, when push comes to shove, they're there for you, and they will be there for you. And you will see that. Uh, I feel like they already know what they want. They want you. They just have a hard time showing it. But I feel like when push comes to shove, they're gonna show up. And that's all you want from them. You want them to show up. Like I said, I feel like we got some Taurus energy. I feel like they're very logical. I feel like they're very grounded. And emotionally, they find it hard to uh, express themselves. And sometimes we just need that, need people to let us know. I mean, I feel like they just have a very hard time allowing their emotions to come to light. They, I feel like they show their emotions more in materialistic things. Um, you know, getting things for you, buying things for you, showing support. But when it comes to love, they're just, they're just not there. They are there, but they don't show it. Like I said, I feel like when push comes to shove, coming up, you're going to realize that this person, you know, this person is going to show up because we got that eight of wands. So I, I feel like they're going to show up when you need them the most. 
got the, the the mother card, the Empress card. So I feel like, like I said, I feel like the, what we have with the Four of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. They respect what you bring to the table, and they res they do have a lot of love for you. But like I said, I feel like it's very hard um, to deal with this person sometimes for you because you want to know how they feel more often. And you want to know if push comes to shove, are they going to be there? And they will. I'm seeing that pretty clear. Like, you're going to get what you want from this person. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're getting what you want at the end of the day. But I feel like it's not going to come easy. We got some Leo energy. So I feel like... It, it's taken a lot for you to get to this point, but I feel like you're still waiting. Like, you haven't given up on this person, and I don't feel like you should because I feel like they're, like I said, they're going to put in the work. They do feel that emotion for you. They just have a hard time bringing it to light with that, like I said, with that moon card. They, they keep it buried so far down that it's it's almost, like I said, it's almost impossible for them to, to allow that to show, but it will show. When push comes to shove, they will show up for you. And I feel like you'll find a lot of balance out of that. Like, I don't feel like you need them to, to be emotional all the time, but you need to know where you stand. And I feel like that will come, and you will find a lot of balance from that with that Sagittarius energy. So we got a lot of fire. We got Aries. Um, we got some Aries. Leo, Sagittarius. We also got some Pisces energy here. Um, you know, I feel like... Once they step up, it's going to be a lot easier for them to convey their feelings moving forward. And this is somebody that you can build that foundation with. Somebody that is the person that you thought they were. But don't expect them to be, you know, constantly um, emotionally available. Like they are available, but conveying their availability is not something that they're good at. And like I said, we also have some Taurus energy. So I feel like this person's more about stability, more about logical uh, decisions, more about being grounded. But like I said, the, you have a lot of a lot of fire here, and, and I mean, when it comes to fire, fire isn't necessarily known for their emotional um, openness. But when push comes to shove, they will show up. You know, they know what they want. They want you. They don't want anybody else. Like I said, with that Four of Cups, they're not thinking about anybody else. And like I said, I feel like Eight of Wands communication coming to, to show you how they truly feel. I don't feel like it's going to come all the time, but I feel like once they start to allow themselves to open up to you, I feel like it is going to be more often that they will open up, and you will start to see that softer side of them. But like I said, I feel like it's hard for them to get there. Um, but they will. It's slow moving, but we're going to get there. Like I said, this is somebody that you can build a foundation with. And I, you know, I don't feel like you were wrong in choosing this person. I don't feel like you were wrong in... in like you, you didn't make the wrong choice here. That hot and cold feeling, like I said, I feel like that's just basically... When you expect something from them... Emotionally, I feel like that's when you get that cold feeling. Like it's almost like they, they, they pull away. Um, but that has nothing to do with you. That's more or less what they're dealing with. Like I said, uh, I got a lot of fire around them. So I mean, you know, that's not really in in, in the fire's wheelhouse is to be completely emotional, emotionally available. Um, it doesn't mean they're not. It just means it's hard for them to show it. Uh, unlike other signs, I feel like, you know, in, in, when we deal with like water, um, very emotional, very upfront about their emotions, fire is just the, kind of the opposite. They're just not very upfront with it. Doesn't mean they don't have them. And you will see moving forward that, like I said, that when a push comes to shove, they will show up. And I feel like at the end of the day, that's what you want and that's what you crave and that's what you're going to get. Like I said, I feel like, like I said it before, I feel like they're more focused on stability. Um, you know, they give they give a lot of themselves to stability and not so much into being emotional and uh, being emotional. Um, 
you know, I feel like they put a lot of effort into, you know, certain aspects of their life. And that's just one, that's one aspect of their life that I, I feel like they don't exactly give the right amount of attention to. But you will find balance, like I said, with that, that temperance card. There will be balance. Once, once some feelings start to come out of this person, I feel like they're going to find it easier to convey those feelings moving forward. Um, but with that Five of Cups... I feel like you're just looking at the negative instead of the positives here. You're not really seeing what it truly, what you truly have in this person, but you will, and that will c confirm, um, you know, that they do want to move forward, and it will confirm that they do truly, uh, they truly have love for you, and it's only going to grow. Once that door opens up, it's like a floodgate. It'll come out more often. It'll come out more steadily. Um, but we have to be patient, and I feel like you have been patient, and your patience is going to pay off. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.